Hi, in this video, we'll see how you can integrate Zoho CRM with third party services via Zoho API. So, Zoho API uses OAuth 2.0 for authentication. Firstly, we'll understand how uh, OAuth 2.0 works, right? So, in order to successfully authenticate, firstly, you will need access to Zoho API console. So, that is where you register your client. So, there are different types of clients. So, in this example, we'll register a self client. So uh, once you register the self client, you will uh, get client ready, client secret, and you can also generate an authentication code. So to generate an authentication code, you will need to uh, define the scope. A scope will determine what resources your client can access from Zoho. So with these uh, parameters, client ID, client secret, and authentication code, from your client, you can successfully authenticate and once uh, uh, the also hot server validates and authenticates your request it will respond back with access token and refresh token and this access token is time sensitive it is valid for maximum of one hour so we need to make sure that uh, we uh, we have refresh token in order to generate new access token once it is expired so to generate a new access token with the refresh token, again, you, you would need parameters like client ID, client secret, and the refresh token. So with this, uh, uh, you will be able to successfully authenticate and generate access token. So once you have this access token, you will be able to access the required resources. So uh, if it is a valid access token, then the, uh, the endpoint which you are working with will respond uh, uh, respond back with valid response so now let's see how you can uh, register a client in Zoho API console so I will quickly uh, go into demo account uh, yeah and I already have an API console open so we need to add a client and we are going to add a self client and I'll create a client yeah so this will give us a client ID and client secret which we would require uh, then we need to we need to generate the code so to generate a code you need to uh, define the scope so you can find the scope uh, in this api documentation so it is over crm.modules.all so which with this scope we'll be able to access all of the modules in Zoho CRM and we can define uh, the validity for this auth token so the maximum is 10 minutes so we need to make sure that uh, we are generating uh, access token and refresh token before 10 minutes I'll just give a, a scope description as test then I'll create and I'll select the CRM account so in this case I'm working with this production environment so I'm selecting this account and I'm creating it so this gives us uh, the authentication code so again this is time sensitive so we need to be quick so I'll copy uh, this code to a place where I can access so now uh, I'll go to uh, postman so in postman uh, I'll just switch to a new workspace so in order to uh, create the API request you can uh, do it in a couple of ways either you can uh, go through Zoho API documentation and you can uh, you know uh, create uh, the API request following the documentation uh, the Zoho uh, API documentation is very detailed and uh, you'll able to find all the information in this API documentation the other easiest and error-free approach is to search for Zoho CRM developer collection Zoho CRM developers collection so this will have all of the apis all of the api requests so once you find this collection all you have to do is you just have to fork it so by forking you're creating a local copy you can give it a name so i can give it as so crm apis and the workspace i'll be forking to my workspace and don't worry about the environment we need to create the environment once we fork it so let's fork it Yeah, now uh, we have successfully forked uh, uh, the CRM API collection. So I'll just uh, hit the collections and yeah, I'll just switch back to. Yeah, here we go. Now, so we have Soho CRM API which we have forked. So this will have 
uh, for the API collection for different versions. Right, so first thing is we need to uh, do the authentication. So we have this OAuth uh, folder. So first we need to generate the access token and refresh token. So before we hit this request, we need to set the environment variables. So let's create uh, the environment. So I'll call it as Zoho CRM uh, and we need to add certain parameters. Uh, client ID. Client ID is the ID generated in the API console. Let's copy this client ID and we'll set the initial value. Then we need to set the client secret. I can copy the client secret from our API console. Then uh, we need the, the authorization code. So authorization code is something we just generated. And I'll just paste my authorization code here. Then we would need uh, access token. So don't worry, this will be generated when we hit the first request. I'll leave it as empty for now. Then we need accounts URL. So accounts URL in our case is accounts.soho.e. If you are in a different data, uh, data center, then it will be based on your data center. If you are in the US or um, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, so it will be .com or .sa respectively. Then we need to go uh, define the API domain. So it is it uh, is going to be so for apis dot eu again then we need to set the expiry time expiry time as one hour then we need to define the redirect uh, url it can be it can be uh, it is your client redirect url so in this case there's a postman so i'm just giving an example url and the grant type is is authentic authorization code so we have all, uh, all the environment variable set now so we are just saving it we'll go back to the collection and we'll check the body so this has to be okay we have to set the environment here so this is all CRM environment uh, okay so uh, we need to parameterize we we already have this in the environment variable so we'll just add the authorization code yeah let's run it yeah so this request is successful so we get 200 okay response and now we have access token and refresh token so this will be uh, set to the environment variables now okay so now uh, now we can execute the second request which is to refresh the access token yeah, so now we have new access token, which is again valid for one hour. Then in case if you're done, then we can uh, we can revoke the tokens as well. So now we'll see how we can access uh, the module data, right? So for that, we have to go into the records collection and we are going to firstly get records and particularly get leads by IDs. Okay, so there are some example IDs, so we need to find our record ID. So in this case, I'll pick one of the record and we can grab the ID from the URL. And instead of the sample IDs, I will use my ID, which I just copied and I'll just execute it. Yeah, so we can retrieve our CRM data here. So this is how now we fetch the data from the CRM and so now let's see how to insert a record into Zoho CRM. For that, we have to use the insert records collection, and particularly we are going to post a lead to the CRM. So I'll use this post uh, leads request. So it's a post request, and uh, we have the sample uh, request, and you know we have this owner ID. Again, it is expecting a parameterized value. I don't have this value, so I can. I will remove this value so by, de it, by default it will allocate an owner uh, based on um, the assignment rules so i'm not bothered about it and i'm, I'm just going to change the last name i'll change it as uh, postman and uh, just for uh, identification i'll change this email to a uh, test 
from postman at soho.com yeah, now i'll hit send so this gives a success request uh, and we can see the record added so if we go back to crm and if we do a quick refresh we should see the record which we added yeah if you just open so we can see this email and we can see that now the record is added to the crm so i hope this is useful if you have any clarifications please do not hesitate to reach out thank you